Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com with a gold-silver stock report. It is 10.15 Pacific Time on Tuesday, August 21st, 2012. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, of course, up about 1.1% on a nice gap up. Uh, we had been in a trading range here forming a wedging pattern here uh, since July and uh, popped out of that on a nice gap here. Uh, we are above this blue line here. This is the very important 50-day moving average, which is now, uh, looks like it's bottomed out and starting to kind of make a rounding uh, run to the upside here. Uh, the 21-day moving average is this red line here. We're above that, and that is pointed decidedly higher. That's a great sign. And it has now crossed this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. So these kinds of things are good. It brings more and more momentum traders into the market. Uh, we are now making a run for this very important 200-day moving average here, currently at about the 160 level. And uh, once we start getting above that, uh, uh, we are now trading above all of the key moving averages and starting to get into a very positive bullish formation. And moving on now to a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, we're about 1.5% for the week. And you can see this sort of rounding, sort of cup-shaped pattern uh, coming into uh, uh, the GLD, which is a, a very favorable sign. When you start building the right side of the cup, uh, uh, some real uh, momentum starts kicking in, hopefully. And uh, as we build here, making an assault on this upper trend line here, coming in at about the 165 level. But we still have a little bit of work to do on the moving averages. This here, this black dotted line, is the 40-week moving average. Um, we're making a run towards that. We popped up here off of this green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average, uh, which we're above now, and we're also above the blue line, which is the 10-week moving average. So uh, starting to sort of round the corner here uh, to the upside uh, in the GLD, which of course relates to gold. Uh, when we start getting above the 40-week moving average, uh, uh, more investors will probably join the party here. And uh, certainly taking out this previous high of 174 would be extremely bullish for the GLD. Moving on now to silver, this is the SLV, the Silver Exchange Traded Fund, having a very good day today, up about 2.2%, gapping here above this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. Uh, we butted up against it yesterday. It looked like it was going to be a point of overhead resistance. Uh, I probably uh, um, you know, thought that we were going to fight a little battle here trying to get above it, but no way. Today we gapped above it. Uh, probably going to have a pickup in volume when the volume figures settle in here. And uh, you can see, uh, like in the gold, a rounding cup-shaped pattern. We have the red line, the 21-day moving average, crossing over the 50-day moving average, bringing more momentum traders into the market. And uh, now clearing certainly above the 100-day moving average uh, makes uh, uh, silver look more positive. Uh, once we get above uh, uh, the 200-day uh, moving average here, up at about the 2960, uh, uh, 2970 level, um, uh, you know it'll it'll look more bullish for the silver trade here. I do like the last two days uh, as far as volume on the up days, some real commitment uh, starting to come in uh, on the silver trade. Uh, so, uh, like the gold, starting to form the right side of a cup, possibly. Moving on to stocks now, the summer rally continues. Uh, this is the NASDAQ composite down about 0.15%. Uh, 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 we did make a higher high today, though. Uh, we've had a hell of a run here. Uh, started in June, and uh, the summer rally is just still cooking. And uh, possibly coming back up here to test this overhead resistance line, uh, currently uh, at about the uh, 3150 line. Um, we did come up and butt up against 3100. Uh, these sort of uh, uh, hard numbers uh, uh, tend to provide a little bit of, uh, of overhead resistance. We'll see what happens here. But so far, the uptrend in the short term still looks really positive. And of course, uh, the intermediate trend that began uh, around June 1st looking positive as well. Uh, I would expect to come up uh, in this area and pull back again uh, as uh, we test uh, support levels here uh, uh, if this rally wants to continue. But uh, uh, stocks uh, uh, still in a summer rally mode. Moving on now to the S&P 500, your larger cap companies. Um, interesting, we have an overhead resistance line that's been in place since uh, early June, uh, since the summer rally began. And you can see that we are up here testing that and got turned away today. So we have reached the upper end of the trading range uh, currently and uh, are, are uh, 
you know, turned away here uh, with an arrows down kind of a move. Uh, of course, we have to see what happens here, um, uh, but this would be a point where uh, your momentum traders would take some profit and uh, possibly send it back down to retest the lower trend line here. Um, of course, uh, you know nothing's for certain in the markets, but I would say that would be the, the biggest probability to have some sort of a uh, correction, corrective phase, maybe just for a few days at least, maybe p taking it back down here to this red line, which is the 21-day moving average. But uh, certainly... Um, you know, had a nice move uh, after testing here in uh, late July, and uh, now a pullback is warranted, uh, taking us down to possibly the 1390 level or maybe down to the 1380 level. So let's see what happens. But uh, gold and silver rounding the corner, starting to go into a more positive uh, a chart formation, uh, accumulation taking place right now, and the summer rally in stocks still underway. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.